Benatar. I'm a grad student um, in HST, which is a joint program between Harvard Medical School and MIT, uh, getting a degree in medical engineering and medical physics. I've been doing my PhD work in the Bhatia lab, and throughout my PhD, I've been working on several different projects that all kind of center around this idea of protease activated nanosensors, which basically means that enzymes activate these nanosensors that we're using for each of our projects. So everything that we're doing is based on enzyme activity. Uh, and right now I'm working on a project uh, diagnosing bacterial versus viral pneumonia using these nanosensors. Um, when people come into the hospital with lung infections and you don't know the cause, normally the causes are two different things. It's either a bacterial infection or a viral infection. And the test that we have right now can't really distinguish between the two. And if you have a bacterial infection, then you need to get antibiotics in order to treat it. If you have a viral infection, the treatment varies, but usually you kind of have to wait it out. But the main point is that you don't want to get treated with antibiotics because that can cause something called antibiotic resistance. So what my project is trying to do is create a way to tell the difference between a bacterial and viral infection so that you're not inappropriately treated with antibiotics and therefore won't kind of develop this antibiotic resistance and won't be treated inappropriately in a hospital setting. So the way that this works is that we have these uh, nanosensors that are activated by enzymes in the body. And when these enzymes act upon these nanosensors, it releases something into the urine. And then you can just test the urine and see whether these certain molecules are present or not. And based on the composition of the urine, you can tell whether or not this infection is due to a bacterial or viral um, pneumonia. So my interest lies very much in global health. So I think the most exciting thing for me would be to create a technology that is able to diagnose pneumonia in pretty much any setting, not just the hospital. So using this urine technology, there's the potential to create basically the equivalent of a pregnancy test that is that would be able to tell patients in any setting whether or not they have a bacterial or viral infection and allow them to be treated appropriately. So I think the most exciting question would be whether or not our technology could be applied in a point of care way to help people around the world and not just necessarily in developed countries. I guess the most exciting question that can be answered with our technology is whether or not there is a protease specific response to bacterial or viral infections. Because right now, the way to tell the difference between them is very non-specific. Based on symptoms, you get the same symptoms regardless, pretty much. You get cough, you get fever, you get um, runny nose, you get all the normal kind of infection signs. And the biomarkers that exist right now can't tell the difference between the two very well. So I think the most exciting thing that would come out of our work is um, if there is a real difference between bacterial and viral infections based on protease activity that you're going to be able to measure and quantitatively, quantitatively tell the difference between the two um, causes of disease.